if, if I ask somebody if they know Jimmy and they say no, I say, well, you should really meet him because he's a surrealist. And they say, well, what's a surrealist? And I say, well, you know, I'm not exactly sure, but, you know, he lives in a world where, where everyday objects and symbols have different meaning than the world that you and I live in. And he chooses to like stick to his rules and seldom deviates into the rules of society in general. Jimmy was always this like a uh, heroic, rebellious figure um, as early as I remember ever having seen Jimmy. And, uh, and you have to understand that Jimmy was like a, a, a total hood, uh, almost obscene in his uh, resentment for society and society's rules. And that's why I tell people he is a, he, he lives as a surrealist because he's one of those people who like makes his life his art and then he does paintings as well, you know. And, uh, and in order to get the full effect of Jimmy, you have to sit down with Jimmy in his world and uh, have a cup of coffee. And that's what it's about right there, you know. And then if you want to like look at souvenirs, you might look at some paintings, you know. Uh, Jimmy has always tried to, and has gotten very good at it in his old age, uh, create a world where, you know, uh, he has the key to the riddle, or he, he pretends he has the key to the riddle, but I think the, the, the biggest uh, uh, mystery about Jimmy is, is that uh, he seems lost in the wilderness with that key, too, you know. He, uh, uh, the riddle unfolds again and again as you open the doors. First, he had a really nice childhood. His parents were really, he's so, he's got an innate courtesy that has to be put at bred into children or put into children uh, when they are very little. He expresses uh, feelings uh, more than anything. His feelings, he has a great sense of color and 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 the insanity of life you know you look around this world and there's a awful lot of insanity i mean unsane things that are so counterproductive to the welfare of other people and he's always looking out for the welfare of everybody he meets i think jimmy was uh thrown out of high school because his hair was too long and sent to Vietnam where he, and he still suffers from Agent, Agent Orange poisoning and other incidentals that happened to him in Vietnam. Oh, that Vietnam thing was very, very formative and very destructive and see I think war, if you kill somebody I think it takes, steals a piece of your own soul away. I think that's the horrible thing about wars. Well, I just, I, I, it, war is inexpressible to me. While we don't start teaching peace, 